So instead of sleeping last night, I stayed up and played in my workshop. Here's what I did. So come along with me, Susie Q. Hey. made a mold. I did make a mold out of this. But I cannot believe that this kind of worked. The handle needs a lot of work though, but I got that at the dollar store, at the party store, and I already made one. Getting ready for Father's Day, you know, Father's Day keychains. <laughs> Especially with people's names on them. But I cannot believe this came out great. I can't wait to try an inlay. They're awfully thick for inlays. This one's not. This one looks perfect for inlays. And I ran out of silicone. I need it to come up to at least up to here. So I'm leaving this in the mold. This is my half inch scale pond. What else have I been up to? I have tried my hand at UV. Still, I would say unsuccessful because this is as warped as it comes. Where's my paper? This is as warped as it comes, man. I just do not have luck. And this is like seven layers of UV. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But then I made some pieces of jewelry using nail stickers. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can keep in this thing and do it. I get the top and bottom. I do like it. It just does not feel and look good at all. It's like there we go. I don't know if you can see them. And they are clear. These are too coy. And then this is just nail sticker. Nail sticker art. playing around with different stuff trying to get used to the UV and I just um it must be a fine art because I cannot get the UV resin to work well for me I'm not giving up yet but keep these up there put this in here I really wanted this UV to work
to and I had this little I think it's a food for little candy spoons but I thought how cute especially if I only film up halfway and I can put people's names on them make them fridge magnets like Katie's Kitchen oh my gosh I don't know I just thought that was cute and then some of my coasters I just think are works of art you know like wow this is still soft so I'll wait but I like this I need one a little bit bigger for some larger plates maybe very excited so this is what I've been up to oh and my egg holder let's see if he's good anytime I have a half ounce I'll make another one let's see if I got all his fingers this time oh and then what I like to do with these right away, besides flip it back inside out, is put the egg there. <coughs> I want to make sure it's it's just a little too small for these eggs that are three quarters. They're perfect for eggs this way, but so I put a three quarter egg in like that. <laughs> Then I know it's big enough for my three-quarter eggs. I'm doing a display for Easter. So once it comes out, it's still kind of moldy, moldable. Still, still would work for an egg that way. Push that down, make them just a little bit fatter, and then let them dry. I don't want them drying with this in it, though. I think I came up with a solution for my three-quarter egg. I love this mold. This is a great mold for egg. Oop, this is a great mold for egg, but it comes out three-quarter. So I filled it up to here just for testing. And now once this is fully dried, I'm going to sand it down. Now if I had done it in the same color, it would have been a full egg. And then it can go in any of these. But uh, then I can, I'm going to decorate this one particularly for Easter as well. But even just to put it in this way, you won't even see it. But I wanted a full egg. I thought these were full eggs. Or I could just get another mold. But for now, that's what I'm doing. Whoop. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. So come along with me. Set off Suzy Q.